What's going on everybody? It's McFly. So I'm back with some more Ren. I've been wanting to finish up this new album that he did. Um, I think I have a couple more songs still that I need to do. And then I have a bunch of other stuff that I want to get to with the big push and a lot of there's a lot of Ren stuff to still get to. So benefits of him being kind of a overarching artist of the channel and having a lot of stuff to go through is there's a never ending amount of content. Uh, I did a poll on the YouTubes and uh, Wicked Ways won for the next Ren song I should do. I've been wanting to do this one anyways, because like I said, I want to finish this new album he's done. So uh, a lot of people said this was their favorite. Honestly, every song in the album is good. So like if you tell me any of them are your favorite, I'll be like, cool, I understand. Like They're all really good. I'm excited to see how this one sounds and, and, and what the message is about. I know that the last few, what was it? Seven Sins was kind of a funny than dark type of tale and uh actually one of my favorites on the album to be honest a lot of people said this was their favorite but we'll see how i feel about it uh, for those of you that are new to the channel what we do here is uh, i'll listen to the song or watch the video i'll stop it here and there where i see fit and then at the end we'll talk about the message we'll talk about the music please feel free uh, to support me on patreon if you like what i do here and you like my other content help me out on patreon does help the channel out a lot uh, it's not required or expected, but it does help the channel out a lot. Cool perks there include exclusive content, specifically for the Patreon members, early access to videos like this one, as well as uh, private messages and being uh, moved to the top of the list for requests. So um, again, not required or expected, but it does help the channel out a lot. I'm kind of like needing my Ren fix because there hasn't been any new stuff really from him lately. Um, so I'm glad I'm able to kind of get back into the Reniverse um and and get some more Ren because i'm literally like going through withdrawals not having new Ren stuff to listen to and me being busy hasn't helped but anyways i'm excited let's get into this this is Ren wicked ways all right here we go I am the eye of the storm, I am the poisonous one I am the grip of the gun I am the zip of the body bag zip in the shot when it's done I am the hit and the run I am the prodigal son I am the tail of the hun Rhythm spectacular, cardiovascular rhyming on beast when I run I am the G, I am the genie of flow Brands of genius, streaming and scheming like glow I am a man with the flow Hit when your stamina is low Oh, so cold, my vocal is post to top shelf I'm local, not social Chewing toads to by myself, Hey, I am the bite of the beast I am the night Oh, that beat drop We fighting the peace Hit like Muhammad Ali, cause I come with the dangerous reach I am the wolf of the sheep, light on my feet when I creep uh. I am the cousin of sleep, sleep is the cousin of death So I guess I'm the grimmest I breed I am the nemesis and So, I know with his stuff, there's not really a good place to stop But, um, let's talk about the music for a sec I really like the, uh, like, it's like a keyboard MIDI But it's kind of low, almost low pass Low pass being, the, taking all of the highs out And you kind of just have this, almost like a muffled sound the way to describe it um piano in the back it's very subtle right let me see if i can just play that because i do believe i have it open so you're getting this is what i'm talking about here right very much all the highs turn all the way down, right? It's very muffled, almost like they're taking all the saturation out of it. It's just, it's a MIDI piano type of, fake piano type of sound. It's just some type of string instrument. But it's playing that loop over on the back, it gives it kind of this eerie, dark sound, right? And the overall theme per usual for Ren's latest tracks is you know, how he's basically out to kill, out to murder, right? Those has been the themes for the last several songs that he's done. Um, talks about being the cousin of death, uh, cousin of sleep, which is death, but death is the cousin of sleep. So I guess he's death, right? And just like a tripling up on that whole metaphor. But what we'll do is we'll go through the song and I'll stop a little bit to talk about some other stuff I hear, and then we'll go through the lyrics. So let's start over. Wicked way. 
am the eye of the storm. I am the poisonous one. I am the grip of the gun. I am the zip of the grip of the gun. Grip of the body bag. In the run, I am the prodigal son. I am a tail of the hunt. Rhythm spectacular, cardiovascular, rhyming on beast when I run. I am the G. I am the genie of flow. Brands of ingenious, dreaming and scheming. I glow. I am a mammoth of flow. Hit when your stamina is low. Oh, so cold. My vocal is post to top shelf. I'm loco, not social. Chewing toads too. By myself, hey, I am the bite. Do 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 right. He switched up the the flow there. I kind of like that. A B B A B B A B B A. A little bit of bouncy beat, right? He's known for doing that stuff. The dangerous reach. I am More Muhammad Ali. Light on my feet when I creep. Uh. I am the cousin of sleep. Sleep is the cousin of death, so I guess I'm the grimmest I breed. I am the nemesis. Enter the dragon, put emphasis on the creation of rhyme, so they call me the genesis. Venomous, mind, need a therapist, sit and recline in the mind to the specialist. Oh, yada, 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 quiet when I walk. Pitta, pata, pitta, pata, pitta, riot in my thoughts. Mana, 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 quiet in the core. Oh, sweet Jesus, oh my, my, what will fill my appetite? What will feed this hunger in my stomach growing every night? Oh, my goodness, oh, my days, I'm stuck in my wicked ways. Sometimes I fall off the path of righteousness, but that's okay. Oh, sweet Jesus, oh, my, my, Lord, I need a other fight. Right, the oh, sweet Jesus with the thorn crown, right? We all know the imagery that goes along with that. Venomous mind need therapist sit in a recline and unwind to the specialist. Yada, yada, talk, yada, 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 yada. quiet when I walk. So yeah, talking about being in therapy, right? Legitimately saying that his mind isn't right. I take the yada, yada, yada part. Like he's just talking in therapy, going through the motions because he's supposed to, right? Not really seeing it help him. Uh, I was there for a long time. Totally get that. But that's kind of what I get out of that whole line right there. Right in his thoughts. So he's quiet when he walks, meaning he's a just a subdued guy, quiet person, right? Um, uh... Right in his thoughts, head is not a right place to be. The head is where all the messed up shit happens, right? Amen. I think uh, most of us can kind of understand that one for sure. Quiet in the core. Oh, sweet Jesus, oh my, my, what will fill my appetite? What will feed this hunger in my stomach growing every night? Oh my goodness, oh my days, I'm stuck in my wicked ways. Sometimes I fall off the path of righteousness, but that's okay. Oh, sweet Jesus, oh my, my, Lord, I need a other fight. Lord, I need redemption from the tension growing in my mind. Oh my goodness, oh my days, I'm caught in my wicked ways. Sometimes I fall off the path of righteousness, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the chorus. I need redemption from the tension growing in my mind. <laughs> when you have all this like mental stress, I feel like we get into this thing where, and I do this all the time. So again, I can only relate this to myself, but I think we all kind of can relate, but we go through this portion of if we're depressed and stuff where we blame ourselves for it. If I feel bad, right? It's not, because of other factors that are triggers or whatever. It's me. I'm letting it affect me. Why am I letting it affect me? So then it becomes a cyclical thing. It's making me depressed that I'm depressed because I feel I'm not able to control that I'm depressed. So it's like this whole mental game that you play with yourself uh, subconsciously. The fact that he, you know, he needs redemption from this mental, mental, what did he say? Tension, right? So like, I understand that. <laughs> um, you want to redeem yourself from making yourself have this mental breakdown, have this mental incapacitation, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's crazy how that, that one or two lines could be so deep, right? Ren's really good at that, making things deep in as little words as possible. My stomach growing every night. Oh my goodness, oh my days. I'm stuck in my wicked way. Sometimes I fall off the path of righteousness, but that's okay. Oh sweet Jesus, oh my, my Lord, I need a other fight. Lord, I need redemption from the tension growing in my mind. Oh my goodness, oh my days. I'm caught in my wicked ways. Sometimes I fall off the path of righteousness, but that's okay. I am the blood run red. I am the day of the dead. I am the hole in your head. Pull it, pull it, lead. Fuck up the whole damn program, I'm Hulk Hogan, Wolverine, Logan, Trojan, horse with the force of a four-door Hummer. Motherfucker, uncle. <laughs> uh, I am the hole in your head, pull it, pull it, lad. I am the hole in your head, pull it, what'd he say? 
dead. I am the day of the dead. I am the hole in your head. Pull it, pull it. Pull it, pull it. Lead. Lead, right? Bullet goes in the chamber. You pull it. Boom, lead. But bullet, pull it sounds the same, right? Really cool rhyme scheme. Fuck up the whole damn program. I'm Hulk Hogan, Wolverine Logan. Hulk Hogan, Wolverine Logan. Pull it, pull it. Fuck up the whole damn program. I'm Hulk Hogan, Wolverine Logan. And if I remember, sorry, I won't stop it again. If I remember right, I know most of the comics, there's the whole, like, he's X-23, right? And I believe he actually legitimately fucked up the program for the, uh, that man, Edmantium, uh, the Edmantium mutants. He messed up that program. So, again, ran with the nerd knowledge. Pull it, pull it, lad. <sighs> Fuck up the whole damn program, I'm Hulk Hogan, Wolverine, Logan, Trojan, horse with the thoughts of a four-door hummer, motherfucker, uncle. I am the cream of the crop, I'm the behemoth of the pop, I will be stopping the clocks, I am the one that makes you bow down when you're down there, suck my, uh, reload, pop, 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 no shame, point at a cop, make him drop, main mode, pull up, stop, drop the body off, uh, Mother Mary, me, oh my, think I feel a fright inside, dealing with my demons, I've been kneeling, pray to with the sky, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, leave me strong out on the cross, let the crow see on my bows, I lose control when the beat drops. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I pray to a false messiah. Okay, 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 okay. Makes you bow down when you're down there. Suck my uh, reload, pop, pop, pop. In the door. Hang on, way before that. Damn program, I'm Hulk Hogan, Wolverine, Logan, Trojan, horse with the force of a four door hummer. Motherfucker, uncle. I am the cream of the crop. I'm the behemoth of the pop. I will be stuck. I like the. Uh. The harmonies he's doing here right again hip-hop doesn't just have to be rapping you can add musical elements to it that make it interesting without overpowering the 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 rapping part of it right i'm a motherfucker uncle i am the cream of the crop i'm the behemoth of pop i am the king of the crop i am the behemoth of pop that's one of the vocal lines right there's a few there but it's really cool just adding that little touch stopping the clocks i am the one that made uncle i am the cream of the crop i'm the behemoth of pop i will be stopping the clocks i am I will be stopping the clocks. The one that makes you bow down when you're down there. Suck my uh, reload, pop, pop, pop. No shame, point at a cop. Make him drop. Main mode, pull up, stop. Drop the body off. Uh. Mother Mary, me, oh my. Think I feel a fright inside. Dealing with my demons. I've been kneeling. Pray to with the sky. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Leave me strung out on the cross. Let the crows feast on my bows. I lose control when the beat drops. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I pray to a false messiah. So protest conflicted in a convoluted magnifier. Oh my goodness, oh my days. I'm caught in my wicked ways. Sometimes I fall off the path of right. I'm stuck in my wicked ways. Dude, this is so cool. I fall off the path of righteousness, but that's okay. <sighs> wicked ways. Auto tune, but it's very subtle. Subtle. Wicked ways. As a musician, man, like. I appreciate. I'm a hip hop head myself, but like, I appreciate the musicality too of this whole thing. Right. And I'm going to break it down. I don't think there's too much to break down in this one, but I'm going to break it down anyways. Um, right. You could, he could go through, I think the, it would have hit the same for most people if he had just done all three choruses the same, but each one had a different beat and it had a different rhythmic pattern to his rap. Right. So again, it's keeping it fresh. So while it's the same section, the same words and everything, it has a different feel every single time. So with each song and each section, right, it, it all is kind of telling a story, whether it's through the lyrics, whether it's through the music, whether it's through the rhythm, right? All this stuff, you can tell a story in different ways. And, um, story doesn't have to have words, right? A story can just be told through just straight emotion and feeling and stuff. So, um, 
Now go back to this craziness right here. So this is the second chorus. I'm caught in my wicked way. Sometimes I fall off the path of right. Kind of like this trap beat feel to this one. Sometimes I fall off the path of right I'm stuck in my wicked ways Sometimes I fall off the path of righteousness But that's okay Right, and then there was like almost monotone sing-songy type of thing A little auto-tune there Wicked ways Shoot. Yeah, man, uh it's crazy to me, like, a lot of these things that he doesn't honestly have to do to make the song any particular way, right? Like, he could have left, like I said, those choruses the same, and I think it would have hit just as well. But I like the musicality and kind of the uniqueness he takes to doing the music of even his hip-hop stuff, right? Because, uh, I mean, it makes sense. He's a musician first, I think, before he is hip-hop, but... um. I think all of that gives this, all his music kind of another dynamic that's pretty important. Um, do, 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 do. So let me show you guys. Do, 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 do. Kill with decision to go to war like I'm Danny Glover. Hit him like I'm spinning in the jaw like an undercover villain. I go with him when I talk. Kill him when I talk. Kill him when I pop off. Drop the top off. Take off. I pull up, then pull out, then pile up, then pay out. I pick up the liquor, then stick up the check. I'm click on the trigger, kick, kick, pop. So yeah, all of this, basically the the violence. <laughs> That he's had in a lot of his last ones, right? Again, most of this is metaphorically for how he spits and hip and rapping and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna get too far into that because I feel like we do that every every time. So, um, whoops. So here's what I wanted to do. So I already showed you guys the the piano part right here. Again, some type of string instrument. It sounds a lot like piano, but um, so let's just the drums, right? A vocal is postal, top shelf. I'm local, not social, chewing toadstools by myself. Hey, I am the bite of the beast. Very staccato, right? Staccato is kind of, it's very, uh, you hit the note and then there's no sound in between. This is the best way to describe it, staccato. But it's also, again, very uh, condensed, very much low pass, very much took, took a lot of the uh, saturation out of it. Um, so that's why it sounds very muffled and all that stuff. That's by design. Um Right. You got the clap sound, right? You got the, the hi-hat, the closed hi-hat sound. All that's fine and dandy. And then you have a bass coming at some point. A little... Tsh. Again, all little MIDI drums. Really cool. Um, then we have the bass. The 808s. like four notes there we go so interesting i'm pretty sure he's actually playing this so this is the 808s You can tell, right? It almost looks like it's a box, right? 
like the lows and highs are very condensed, almost flat. It has a lot of compression. That means it's also art, almost artificial, right? The sound is artificial. That's the MIDI 808s. Then we get to this portion here where it's a bunch of different waves. Can I zoom in? How do I zoom in on this shit? It's, it's all wavy. It's not boxed. It's not flat on the top and the bottom. That's when the actual bass comes in. You can see it as well as hear it, which is really cool about breaking these down like this. When we get to this part, you can hear the strings rattling. Really cool, man. I love how he mixes, you know, artificial sound with, with real instruments. Um, he's done this, done this in pretty much every single song. And I admire that because a lot of hip hop artists will just do all artificial beats and stuff. And, you know, they'll basically buy one of those free beats on the internet and post it. Um, so I'm glad that he does all his own stuff, makes his own beats as well as incorporates actual instruments. So let's see what this guitar part is. Okay. This is the same part. It just picked it up differently. This is kind of the higher, the highs and the mids, and this is the lows and a little bit of the mids. So these two parts are the same. Okay. So let's go to the vocals. Mine. Oh my goodness, oh my days I'm caught in my wicked ways Sometimes I fall off the path of righteousness But that's okay yeah. I am the blood run red I am the day of the dead yeah. I am the hole in your head Pull it, pull it, lead yeah. Fuck up the whole damn program I'm Hulk Hogan It's interesting Day of the dead yeah. I am the hole in your head Pull it, pull it So his main vocals It's very subtle but there's definitely reverb and there's a very, very quiet delay in the back that you can hear. But with his secondary vocals or his backup vocals, uh, there's no reverb, there's no delay. And in fact, it cuts as soon as there's no sound, it cuts. Lad, uh, fuck up the whole damn program, I'm ho It's that is so that the trail of the reverb and the delay doesn't go over his next line, which is immediately after that part. Uh, Fuck up the whole damn program, I'm Hulk Hogan, Wolverine, Logan, Trojan, horse with the force of a four-door Hummer, motherfucker, uncle. I am the cream of the crop, I'm the behemoth of the pop, I will be stopping the clocks, I am the one that- I'm trying to figure out, so, there's- Let me hear one more time. Trojan horse with the force of a four-door Hummer, motherfucker, uncle. I am the cream of the crop, I'm the behemoth of the pop, I will be stopping the clocks, I am- yeah, so there's three other voices. They have it panned, one on the right, one on the left, and one in the middle. Those are the three voices, and it's essentially just the chord, right? The one, three, five of the key we're in, which is B minor. So whatever chords they're singing at that moment, see if it shows me. That's with the force of a four-door hummer, motherfucker, uncle. I am the cream of the crop, I'm the behemoth of the pop, I will be stopping the clocks, I am the... Yeah, it's three, two, one. So uh, it's essentially the three, it's those three voices doing the one, three, five of the chords uh, of, you know, the three chord, the two chord, the one chord. And uh, really subtle, well, not subtle, really cool dynamic to add to it. Again, it gives the vocals some, it gives it a much more full sound and it gives it kind of a cool addition to the vocals that probably, again, is something you don't necessarily need to add, but a really cool dynamic anyways. And he does this a lot with his hip hop songs too, with the choruses or whatever. He has very uh, different levels of vocals. Um, this one's a lot less than the other ones. A lot of the other ones had like up to eight uh, different tracks on vocals. Um, this one is only like three plus the him rapping, right? So very cool. What else? We love pop cross, let the crows feast on my bows, I lose control when the beat drops. Liar, liar, pants on fire, I pray to a false messiah, so protest conflicted in a convoluted magnifier. So you see, you can see this is trying to figure out what the chord is. The cross, let the crows feast on my bows, I lose control when the beat drops. Liar, liar, pants on fire. So as soon as, at first it was just an, an octave or two lower, right? And it's a unison, but it's... It's not unison. It's actually octave lower of him rapping and when and the other harmonized part part. But then we get two other vocals, and they're each what an octave and or two higher. Liar, liar, pants on fire. That's like a that is that a fourth. And we have kind of like almost like the. 
the violin blows bow sliding on the violin strings vocal part on the right side and it's giving tension right it's giving tension and all that is it says here it's basically major seven notes so um without going into too much detail those are usually have a little bit of tension because it's it's a semitone or a half step in uh, of one of the notes that's in the chord or in the next chord excuse me so it gives it that it needs to resolve and that's where the tension comes from right that's what that sound is Oops. i lose control when the beat drops liar liar pants on fire i pray to a false messiah so protest conflicted in a convoluted magnifier oh my goodness oh my days i'm caught in my wicked ways sometimes i fall off the path of right boy like a motherfucker kid with precision go to war like i'm down to go ahead i'm always swinging in the jaw like an undercover villain i go with them when i talk kill them when i talk kill them when i pass sometimes i fall off the path of right let's go out of this and go back Again, octaves, right? It's the same notes. He's so there's different notes in that section right there, but when he sings a note, he's singing an octave lower. So it's just no octave lower, no octave lower, no octave lower. Again, nothing extremely crazy, but. Gives in a whole done yeah, dynamic to the song. Take it higher, I'ma kill it like I always kill it. Body, back, zip it. I'ma feel it like I always feel it. Keep it so prolific. Oh my best. Wicked West. Oh my good. So drums right here. Then we got the bass drum in a little bit. Times so off yeah. the path. Really cool. I like to um I like to kind of go through those and break them down like that, the tracks, because I feel it gives you a different appreciation for the song, right? When you hear it all together, like that's the finishing touch. And having mixing a song myself right now, or a couple songs myself right now, I know how much work it takes to do every single take, right? Um, luckily you have the copy pasta or the copy and paste where you, you can record a section and then if it's, you record four beats and if it's like eight, 16 beats, whatever, you can just copy and paste that four measure section for however long you want. But, um, it's still like, you got to record it. Then you got to add compression and, and make it sound the way you want it to sound. And, and, you know, uh, he has all those cool transitions with with cool modulation and stuff that he has to add so it's cool hearing all of those separately and how the track mixes and and goes together and um if the, somebody mixes well enough you can usually hear everything but sometimes there's so much in a song that it's literally hard to hear every single thing that's happening in the song um so i think it's it's um it's cool to break it down like this and, and hear it that way because ren not only raps and sings and stuff but he does all of the the beats and the production for this so i want to hear his entire process all the way through as the artist who's doing all of it right uh really cool man uh i do like this one a lot i i think for me to start saying like this one's my favorite this one's not my favorite like i think it does injustice to the song because every song like i said is great on the album do i like some of them more than i like others yes but it's usually because of the message, to be honest with you. It's not because of the song or the sound of the song or whatever. There's one exception to that. But um, uh, it's usually just because the message does it, either does or doesn't resonate with me in some type of way. So they're all great songs. And this is another great song by him. I really do think this album does not have one bad track on it. Which is insane to think about from an independent artist that there's not one bad song on the album. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, man. And I got the extended one too, which is really cool. Um, so I'm happy I paid for that because it was worth it. Uh, but I really like that. So I'm glad to be getting more into Ren and, and listen to his genius play out, man. It's uh, from where he started, even from when I was there to where he is now is crazy with the number one album in the UK and just the success he's had. And he's been able to put that back into his work is, is really incredible. And um, I'm happy for him, man. I'm happy for 
a decent human being and a great artist to finally kind of get the recognition. And honestly, he doesn't have the recognition he deserves yet. Like I said before, in plenty of times, he needs to be a household name. And I really do believe that. So um, I'm glad that it's a happening here. And uh, hopefully he'll come back soon with some cool stuff too. Because like I said, I need, I'm having my Ren withdrawal. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed that, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell on my channel. Make sure you go to Ren's channel and like and subscribe to him. Um, he's growing extremely fast, as I said. And again, uh, my members are live on YouTube and my Patreon is live as well. Lots of cool perks on either of those. Uh, Patreon and YouTube members are about the same. YouTube, uh, Patreon's going to have some extra stuff like TV show and, and unedited TV show and movie uh, reactions and breakdowns. So that's really fun, um, along with some cool other stuff soon to be out. So uh, I do appreciate the love and support you guys have been having me, uh, have been showing me. And please do remember that good vibes are contagious.